Hey everybody, welcome to 7 Minute Health Chat with Robin and Kim. I bet you all thought we were MIA. We've been gone for a couple weeks. We are having too much holiday cheer, but we're back. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Robin. I know, it's nice to see you again. Um, I've missed her. We've only talked on the phone instead of seeing each other. So today, because it is the new year, happy 2023, we're going to talk all about mindset. And Kim and I believe that mindset is the pillar of change. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to talk about a couple things of like off the cuff, like how I feel personally about mindset. And for me to have a positive mindset and to make changes in my life, I have to know why why is a huge word like why do i want to meditate every day is there a reason yes because it calms me why do i want to write what i'm grateful for every day in a journal because it makes my brain cells go to a happy place and first thing in the morning instead of other places so know your why and i know a lot of people like right now they're like oh i gotta work out i'm gonna change my life i'm gonna you know but why why are you gonna why do you want to work out why do you want to change your nutrition you know kim and i talk about nutrition all the time we give you a lots of reasons why to change your um nutrition but you have to want to have your why you know be the same or close to it that of what we talk about um, the other thing is a lot of people base changes on things that have happened in the past that may not have worked. Mm -hmm. So you have to let those things go. Just because it didn't work in the past doesn't mean it's not going to work for you in the future or present because we change every day. Our brains change, our bodies change, um, our surroundings change, and actually things outside of us change and we can learn and grow so and make it easier to make changes. Um, the other thing is making things achievable because for me, <laughs> I can do everything. <laughs> and I mean everything, like so much so that I have too many things on my plate and I, then I don't get a lot of things done and then I'm in self beat up. You know so, what that's called? That's called being a human doing instead of a human being. Yes, yes. And I've gotten much better about that in the last few years. Like I've really cut back, but the old me and see, I changed because now I don't do quite as much as I did before. Um, and then you can make anything achievable because your mindset has changed from, I can't do it. I tried it before. It doesn't work. Yeah, you can change it, but you just have to, you know, make it achievable. Maybe take smaller steps. Maybe don't go to the gym five days in January 1st in the week, right? Five hours. Try yeah. two to three, right? You know, maybe I'm not going to cut sweets totally out of my diet and deprive myself. Maybe I'm still going to have a couple little things Tuesday and Thursday. You know what I mean? Yes, so, yeah. yeah. So that's my take on mindset. And Kim's going to tell you hers. Yeah. You know what? I want to talk a little bit more on, and I appreciate you sharing, you know, how, how, what you've done and how it affects you. And I wanted to read just kind of like a, um, a definition of mindset. And mindset is a belief or set of beliefs that determines the choices we make based on what we believe to be true. So yeah. is it always true? No, it's what we tell ourselves. And yeah. one thing that I has really stuck with me is that our mindset can be our greatest power or our number one obstacle, because what yeah. you believe is true. So in the Bible, it says, as a man thinks, so is he, you know, he acts as he thinks. So if you think you're something, you yeah. act like that and you can train your brain to think like if you want to get healthy, um, well, they, I'm an athlete. So what do athletes do? Well, they, they exercise and they eat healthy. So they do the things, they take the actions in order to, you know, to be an athlete. So same thing with smoking. I read this. And I thought this is really interesting. If you're a smoker, um, don't call yourself. I'm, don't say I'm trying to quit smoking. Say I'm not a smoker. 
right? When you say you're not a smoker, you do what non-smokers do. You don't smoke, you do activities and you do other things that, you know, you're not smoking. So I thought that was really interesting. So um, that's good. Can I, like, yeah. I can tell when you just said that it reminded me like in my classes, like I'll, I'll teach, it's not really a boot camp, but it's like a boot camp strength class. And, and I'll tell them, I have mostly women, I have men in there too, but mostly women. And I'll tell them to do like, we'll do football runs. Like you run in place and you yeah. pitter patter your feet really fast. And then I see them and they're just like, they're standing more upright and they're not down and they're not making fists and making it strong and they're letting their arms fly. And I'm like, ladies, let me see the athlete in you. And instantly they all go into athlete mode. I so you, you can change. You are absolutely correct. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. It's that mentality. It's like, what are you, you know, yep. oh, I'm, I am an athlete, you know, that's so right. I'm like one. Yep. Um, and I want to say, give your permission, give yourself permission to be who you want to be. Who do you want to be? What, what kind of person do you want to be? Um, your, your reality is, you know, it's not always your truth because maybe you believe something that's not really true and, you know, rephrasing things. And I think Robin, you've done this and I've done this where you say, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, now we've rephrased that to say, I get to do this. I right. get to and the or other thing I, I say, if you say I need to, or I have to no, you right. get to, yeah. you get to. And the other thing is, um, is I just forgot what I was going to say. Lost your train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, um, no, but I, I think our, what we think is what we do. And so rephrasing things like, um, and saying mantras of, you know, I, I am worthy, you know, I am capable. I can do this. I, and, oh, I know what I was going to say. What I've learned because we've learned a lot with social media and technology is that everything is figure outable. Yes. Instead of saying, I can't do this, I can't do that, I reframed, I reframed it to say it's figure outable. Yeah. You, know, figure it you know what? And you said something there, like right before that, and it just reminded me of a quote that I shared yesterday. And I'm gonna look it up here real quick so that I don't mess it up. Um, you know, you said you change what you think you are or were, you also get to change and have a different mindset than what maybe someone told you you mm -hmm. are. So yes. think back to like how you grew up. I mean, it could have been, and you know, we've talked about this with your brother saying things to you. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I've had people in my family and in my friends like say things to me that I am and you know what I'm not that and you right. get to be who you say you are not right. what other people tell you or what society tells you exactly. you are I, I mean and women have mm -hmm. lived that all women you know so yes. and I also like this was one that I shared yesterday stop taking directions from people who never got where you're going and that has a lot you know yeah. that you do you and you go where you want to go. Ooh. And I, yeah. And that's really good. And I think it's see yourself where you want to be. So I have one client I was speaking with this morning and he kind of struggled over the holidays, like as many people did, he goes, I'm really prioritizing. He said, exercise early and then meditation between work after, after work and before he gets home. Cause he's so stressed by the time he gets home. Cause yep. he's, been, he's a psychologist and he's listening to a lot of other people's problems, helping them. And he right. feels so drained. And he said, I just need that little time. So he's doing, uh, he set in place where he's got a time where he can meditate before he gets home. And I think that is, that sets you up for success too. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, um, yeah. So I, I really feel like, um, not limiting ourselves, limiting beliefs are huge. Um, again, we, we say, I can't do this. I can't do that. Or I'm, or I can't lose what this is what I hear quite a bit. I can't lose weight. Whatever I do, I can't lose weight. Well, but the right strategy strategies, you can lose weight, you know? Yeah. Um, I know it gets harder as we get older, but there are things you can do to make it happen. There are things you can do to change your body composition so you can become stronger and you will not become frail um, or age poorly. So, uh, and take yeah. that word out of there. Can't exactly can't my grandma always said can't never did anything but die in the poor house, right? Oh, yeah. I've never heard that. Oh, that's can't a, never did anything but die in the poor house. Oh, that's a good, that's a good, it that's, is. Sounds like your grandma um, slogan. <laughs> I know, right? 
And so I do have another quote about this. You can't live a positive life with a negative mind. Mm, And it's the truth. You can't, you know, have a positive mindset. Like keep telling yourself you can't Mm -hmm. stop saying that. You know, I've had people say the same thing about yoga. Oh, I can't take yoga. I'm not flexible. Well, you're not flexible because you haven't taken yoga. (laughs) Exactly. Right. Right? So change that mindset. Yeah. Yeah, You can do anything. It's stepping out of your comfort zone, you know, and just doing tiny habits. It's not like a big overhaul, but like one little thing, like um, just about yourself. So I am worthy. I am worthy to be healthy. I am worthy to do this. I'm worthy to do that. I am, you know, so it's building your own self-esteem up and yeah. So that you can one step at a time. Don't try to do everything at once. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. well, thank you, Robin. I think it's really good about mindset. And, uh, you know, yep. we didn't talk about New Year's resolutions. I think both of you and I are kind of like, you know, New Year's resolutions are, <clears throat> can be a sore subject for a lot of people. Yeah. <clears throat> and only 7% people of people keep their resolutions. So it's not a big number. Um, but, you know, making tiny, tiny changes, tiny habits are much more doable instead of saying, making big grandiose things. And, but make, stick, making tiny changes which turn into habits, it's about consistency is what will move the needle. So. Right. And keeping that positive mindset. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Well, happy right. New Year. That's a whole nother discussion, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole other discussion. <laughs> yeah. Next week we're talking about hormones, I believe. Right. We are. Very so, fun topic. But if you guys want topics, other topics, let us know what you want to hear yeah. about. We'd love to hear. Yeah, all right. So, all right. All right. Bye. We'll see you next Take week. Care. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.